Now the all function. The all function considers the inputs that we receive or that we've connected to the PLC and then it connects them in parallel to each other. Now the logic function for this is the OR gate or the OR function and it is represented as A plus B. That plus represents the OR function when it comes to logic expressions. If we consider the ladder diagram, we've got A and B as our inputs. We can add additional. If both A and B are zero, in other words, they are both open, then the output will remain off. The moment I close B, then we've got a connection to Q, so it'll be on. The moment we close A, we've got a connection to Q, which means it stays on. And if both are connected, then Q is also connected, which means it is on. The symbol, uh, IEC symbol, greater or equal to 1, and this links in with this expression. If we say that A plus B, we're looking at the value of A and B, and we're adding those values, and if the total is greater or equal to 1, then the output will be on. Uh, the American symbol is an arrowhead like that. And that is the OR function. Now sometimes it is necessary to invert a function. Uh, for example, the overload. When the overload is triggered, it's supposed to turn the direct online starter off. But let's say we want to activate the, or use the overload to activate a output to indicate that that is what the fault in the circuit is. So then we use the invert function. Now how that works is is my input let's say that's the overload function and that is the output that I'm using now by using that symbol there it takes the real-life condition takes the real-life condition is my overload which goes into my PLC and it's the input on the PLC and that's the overload. So when this is now closed, my input over here is reading a logic 1. It is on. But the moment I do that in my ladder diagram, what it does is it takes that logic 1 that it's reading there and it converts it to a 0. Okay, so now if this was to open, so let's say it's running and a fault occurs on the overload which converts that to a zero, which turns that input off. This symbol causes that to be on, which means that output will be on. So if that output over there, Q1, connected to let's say a light bulb then that light bulb will turn on to indicate that there's a fault on the overload this function is called a NOT 
or an invert function the expression q1 is equal to not a if that's my a input we represent it like that uh, sometimes it can be represented with an inverted comma like that a truth table a versus q if a is off then it reads it as an on and if it is on it reads it as an off so it searches the function now we can use that same invert function on the output but then everything in that rung that total result will then be inverted in this case it's just that input that we are inverting if we were to invert that function over there then the result in other words the a plus b result sorry the a plus b result will then be inverted if we were to invert the q to represent this in a functional block diagram a goes in and that one with that symbol over there that circle there means we're inverting the function that's the IEC symbol the American symbol looks like that again we've got that invert function over there.